Hey guys, it's Jade here from the New You program again, and this is part four of a, a series of videos on what's the best form of exercise or what's the best types of exercise to do to get in the best shape of my life, to get athletic, strong, and nice and fit. We already talked about um, finding exercises that you enjoy doing and doing them frequently and making sure they're intense enough to facilitate uh, results. And today I just wanna quickly talk about nutrition because it's the most important part your body fat percentage and your body composition is completely, okay, maybe not completely, but it's a, you know, it's a very high percentage of what it is that you're eating. And of course, not just eating, but your lifestyle as well. So no matter how hard you train, if you're not eating well and you're not recovering from your workouts, you're just not going to see the results. What a lot of people don't realize is that exercise is a stress. It's one of the best forms of stress that you can apply to your body, but it is a stress and you need to respect it as a stress so when you work out and when you go to the gym you don't actually get bigger stronger faster or leaner in the gym there's a misconception there people think they get stronger in the gym or they get faster and they get leaner in the gym they lose weight in the gym it doesn't really happen in the gym you go to the gym and you push and you pull and you squat and whatever it is that you're doing so that you can stress your nervous system, you can stress the muscles, you can stress the bones, tendons, ligaments, all that kind of stuff, so that when you leave the gym, you can recover from that stress and get bigger, stronger, faster, or leaner. And the only way that you recover from that stress is if you're getting things like enough sleep, drinking enough water, and you have, of course, the proper nutrition. Without any of that stuff, all you're doing is actually just applying a stress. So then you're going to the gym, and you're doing, uh, 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 and you're doing all this stuff, and you're stressing your body, and then if you're not getting enough sleep and you're not drinking enough water and you're eating like crap, then actually what starts to happen is over time, you're just applying lots of chronic stress to your body. And that will manifest itself into injuries usually really easily. You'll injure yourself lots. Your strength will be really up and down. You'll plateau really easily. You'll get colds and flus really easily. That's one of the reasons why um, a lot of people don't receive results. They don't really focus on outside of the gym. And outside of the gym is a very important part. So you need to be making sure that you're getting enough sleep. Um, all this stuff is covered in the new you program uh, in depth. How much sleep you should be getting, how much water you should be drinking, exactly what you should be eating, what you shouldn't be eating. There's meal plans, there are recipes. The whole thing is laid out. If, uh, if you haven't read through it, read through it. Um, it's an amazing program. It's a, pro a program that I've been developing for over 10 years. I've, I've helped thousands of people get into the best shape of their lives using this program. So I don't want to go into the detail of every single um, part of that program. I just want to talk about making sure that you understand that the more you work out, to, if you're trying to lose 20 pounds, 30 pounds, 40 pounds, 50 pounds, get in the best shape of your life, that you need to respect the stress of your workouts and focus on your recovery. And your recovery is getting enough sleep, drinking enough water, and avoiding much processed foods as possible. And those processed foods usually come in the form of store-bought juices, candies, cereals, crackers, breads, pastas, and that kind of stuff, right? It doesn't matter if the pasta says it came from whole wheat, the bread said it comes from whole wheat, and the cereal says it came from whole grain. It's like, yeah, at some point it did, but now it's just crap. It's processed and baked and stuff into that form. So processed foods are not going to help you get in the best shape of your life, so avoid as much processed foods as possible. Most of those come in the form of grains, unfortunately. Avoid as much sugar as possible, Limit your alcohol, especially the sugary alcohol, and of course, focus on your, like I said a million times, your sleep and your water, okay? So remember, exercise is a stress. It's a fantastic stress, but you don't get bigger, stronger, faster, or leaner in the gym. In the gym or wherever it is that you work out, you just apply the stress so that on the off days, you can recover from that stress and get bigger, stronger, faster, or leaner, given the proper rest and recovery. I hope that makes sense all the rules and tips and all that kind of stuff on how to recover the fastest and see the fastest results are of course in the new you program. So I'll let you read through that, but I just want to sort of give you a quick refresher on, we talked about how to get in the best shape of your life and what types of exercise and all that kind of stuff. And I just want you to know how important it is with the nutrition aspect. People throw numbers out all the time, like, Oh, it's 60% of the equation or it's 80% of the equation. No one really knows. We just kind of throw some numbers out and we all know that it's more important than the training itself, the body fat, percentage and body composition perspective. So you need to give it the respect that it is. It's greater than 50% of the equation. If 
getting in amazing shape was 50% exercise and 50% nutrition, you'd think nutrition was pretty damn important. But it's actually much higher than 50%. And it's the hardest one. And most people will concentrate more on the exercise end of things. But really, you should be concentrating more on the nutrition end of things. And I know it's the hardest. That's why everything's super laid out for you in the new you program, exactly what to eat and when, because it, it is the hardest and we're all, you know, low on time. And um, sometimes it's easy just to follow a plan. So it's all there for you. Um, I just wanted to quickly talk about that to make sure you get the fastest results. And this video is going on too long. I'm rambling. And so I'm going to finish here and we'll talk soon.